Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today, we are in the seventh day in the October of Christmas, and our Mass presider is Reverend Father Alexander Balatbat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We offer this Mass in a very special way for the peace and healing in our country. As we end this year, we express our gratitude to our loving God for all the blessings that He has given us and for His abiding presence. We also include in our Mass today the soul of Lucia Manalan's son. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery, let us pause for a moment and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May all loving God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to Him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they, we are, but they were not really out of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you all have knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. The Word of the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Announce his salvation day after day. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord. Let the heavens be glad and earth rejoice. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him. But the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to overcome children of, to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. The glory as of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace because while the law was given through Moses grace and truth came through Jesus Christ 
No one has ever seen God, the only begotten Son, God who is at the Father's side, has revealed Him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Maligayang Pasko muli. Nasa huling araw tayo ng taong 2020. 2020. We are talking about the end of the year and as we celebrate this day of the end of 2020, the gospel talks about the beginning. In the end, there is a beginning. The beginning and the end are always together. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word made flesh and made His dwelling among us. God dwells in us. Diyos na nananahan sa atin sa simula hanggang sa wakas. Kung babalikan natin ang ating mga naging karanasan sa taong 2020, we talk about crisis, COVID-19, typhoon, pandemic. We talk about violence, poverty. Ito ba'y just an experience of every person? Pure human? We go back to the gospel. In the beginning was the Word. And that Word became flesh, flesh and made His dwelling among us. As we have the reminiscence of what happened to us, the invitation is to find God there. Let us live joyfully in the power of Christ's presence, open to the wisdom of the Spirit. God is present even in our pain. As we end the year 2020, let us celebrate His abiding presence. Be attentive to our heart, as St. Augustine would say. For if you are not attentive to your heart, you will never know if Jesus is present there or not. And we are called for the conversion of the heart so that that heart will recognize the presence of God in our own story, in our own history. And that heart becomes open to a never-ending hope that is new. God is present in us. Siya nananatili noon. Siya nandirito ngayon sa pagbubukas ng taon. Siya pa rin ay kasama natin. 
in moments of laughter and tears, misery and joy. As we go back to these experiences, we beg the Lord to grant us the grace to recognize His divine presence in our history. Paano tayong makapagpapatuloy? Malinaw ang dahilan. Si Jesus ang ating dahilan upang magpatuloy sa buhay. Si Jesus, tanging si Jesus, wala nang iba kundi si Jesus. Amen. As the year ends, let us praise and thank God for the many blessings He showered upon us and most especially the gift of His Son, Jesus. Father, bless and protect us. Father, bless and protect us. that the Church may continue to preach the joy of the coming of Jesus, our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless and protect us. That government leaders and officials may look to God's Word as the foundation and goal of their efforts. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless and protect us. That by our witness of life, we may bring the light of Jesus to those who sleep whose lips were darkened by sin and misery. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless and protect us. That the sick may see in the coming of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless and protect us. That our faithful departed may share in the light of heavenly glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless and protect us. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the all-loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast of this awful mystery, though invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages, he has begun to exist in time, so that rising up in himself, all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our 
Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Jesus. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are going to partake in his sacred broken body. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow that with the needed solace of things that pass away they may strive with ever deepen trust for things eternal through christ our lord amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on immaculate us. heart of Mary, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. We pray the rosary every day for the peace in our country and the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May all loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God loves you. Mama Mary loves you. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Father Alex Balatbat, I was assigned by our bishop here as the administrator of the Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House. The Our Lady of Antipolo Retreat House is located inside the St. Michael compound, St. Michael Retreat House, San Jose Extension, San Isidro Antipolo City. for all who long